What is up YouTube, Roger here. I'm going to bring you a quick video with a few tips of things that I've learned through the uh, Player on Ports update so far. Um, I am not saying that this is everything um, by any means, but you know these are a few of the things that I've learned and I had problems with when I first started and went here. And uh, you know, with a little help from friends and stuff, it sort of I learned these things. So I want to help you guys because obviously it's quite a confusing. It's a huge update, so uh, pay attention, and um, I'll show you how to do some of the most basic things and get your crew started and things like that, so you know what to do, and so you don't fuck up. Uh, so firstly, um, you want to go to your ship um, selection and setup, and you want to go to that and it will show you, um, by the way you can get to these menus through the um, buttons at the top middle of your screen uh, just hover over them and it will tell you what it is um, go to your ship menu and you can um, pretty much just select what you want to add to your ship um, go into each of the things and you get a, a free upgrade for each one of the selections so you can go into the um, hull or whatever and you get a free upgrade in most of them I think all, all but one gives you a free upgrade so just make sure you get that because it is free um, I do recommend upgrading with money once you get uh, you know, sorry, not 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 many resources when you get that, but um, get those, definitely get those free ones for both of your ships for now. When you complete the tutorial, you will get a second ship. Um, okay, so the second thing I want to mention is the black market guy. Uh, he can be found in the northwestern corner of the shipyard. Um, go and talk to him if your ship your voyage fails and your ship sinks you can go talk to him and he will fix your ship for I think it's 100k and you can also buy supplies daily for about 50k coins which is very useful so don't forget to do that um, you also get percentage increases at, you know the percentage at the bottom shows your chance of a successful mission uh, I think it is possible to fail at 100% which is a bit weird but um, keep your crew at an even percentage so don't put all of your good crew on one uh, on one ship and then you've got you know you'd rather have two ships out there than one that way you can be more efficient with your time um, keep your ships even percentage too with their rating just so you know you, you keep it all even and if you've got two going out then they're two equally good ships and not just one uber good one and then you've got one crap one um, also random events are very good to do you can talk to the assassin in the pub I think the assassin is only there for the first time you go there and it might disappear after the game tick today but um, he is worth talking to and do the voyage with him. You get some bonuses and a few rewards after winning him over if you do do a successful voyage. Um, and also Meg, who is standing at the southwestern corner just by the ship, you can talk to her. Um, there is a nice Family Guy reference in the chat window. Put it in the comments if you notice what it is. But I, it did laugh the first time. Uh, it did make me laugh the first time I saw it. So definitely go and check those out. Those will help you like weekly, daily, whatever. And I'm sure more will be added as soon as the you know as as people go on. Um, also, you get the building upgrades for the ship and the warehouse. Um, I would advise you to go to the where um, the um, buildings interface and upgrade your warehouse because that will give you a percentage increase in resources from your voyages which is very useful and uh, that will help you over a long term period of time and it's quite cheap to do as well so just upgrade a couple of those for uh, what you can for the time being and that should help you out and also don't forget about the special voyages the special voyages will unlock scrolls in the long term and uh, also will give you special quest lines so if you're you're a completionist player and you're looking to uh, complete that content like myself then you want to do the quest lines but make sure you prioritize the ones that give resource rewards over those ones because those are more important for the time being but as I say I will really sh release a completionist guide on this eventually when I learn uh, the ins and outs of it so uh, I hope these quick tips helped you and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and comment thanks for watching cheers guys subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos, hit the link to the left to check out my Completionist Quickie series, hit the link to the right to check out my PVM Droplog series, or hit the link at the bottom to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.